Hi everyone, I'm Vanessa Lua with What the Hell Did She Say? And I'm here at home because they are honoring amazing women in the industry. So don't go anywhere because I'm here ready on the red carpet to interview a lot of people. So lucky because you guys are so tall. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, this is perfect. This is perfect. I, this is my, actually my first time it. seeing the Selfie Stick Live. So, you know. Okay. And, hey, and we can see the sexy cleavage from your fiance. Oh my goodness. <laughs> see, now you got my point of view. That's <laughs> Lucky audience tonight. <laughs> exactly. What, what the, the hell, hell did she, she say? say? <laughs> How you doing, Vanessa? I'm How's it going? Doing great. So excited to be here. And I want to know who has been the most important woman in your life. I know who is right now, right. but who has been before her? Uh, obviously, my mother. I'm a, I, I grew up a mama's boy, so they say, but. My mom was a big influence on my life, and you know she, she, she was there no matter what, and through thick and thin, and made sure that not only uh, did I do well on the, on, in school, but that I did well on the basketball court and in life as well. So she was my biggest influence. She was my biggest supporter. She was just the biggest fan. She was the biggest everything. Go Atlanta, right? Go, go, <laughs> go Atlanta. Go Atlanta. <laughs> what the hell did she say? We're in LA. <laughs> the biggest, inf my grandmother, I would say. She's been there through everything. She's been my supporter when, yeah, she's my rock, my granny, yeah. <laughs> love you, Grandma. Love you, love you. My last thing is I want to hear you the Spanish. Um, muy caliente. <laughs> que rico, papi. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> me llamo Jose. <laughs> Rappers paying for spins, it's all typical. It's who you know in the game, it's all political. It's like your girl got a friend and said, cousin a man, this nigga gave you a chance, oh, you the nigga now. You ride around and you know, you know, something like that. Yeah, man. Just, love know, just, it. Just messing around, you know, just chilling, you know. Porquito Espanol. Adios. <laughs> So you are a singer and an actor, and you're also handsome. Really? Thank you. Oh, my God. Look, if I had the accent, I would be unstoppable. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. Singing, acting, that's what I do. That's my life. Women is the biggest part. I mean, they're the ones who buy the music. They, they buy the albums. They come see the movies. They, you know, women, of course. Uh, I mean, everything I do is for the women, of course. The guys just follow because they, they follow the women. That's what guys do. So we are the powerful people? Absolutely. Yes. I mean, you create. A woman created me. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Aww. Women. What has been like the smartest advice you have received from a woman? Hmm. Probably from my mom. And she said, if you ever have a relationship, and this is boyfriend, girlfriend, family, whatever. If you ever have a relationship, you should never have to carry them all the time. There should be a time to where they can carry you. That way you know you're equally yoked. So that's that's worse for my mom. The best advice I've ever gotten. I want to interview your mom now. She's amazing too. <laughs> she, she, oh, um, la luna, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> De nada. Adios. Adios. <laughs> the most important woman in my life is... And be careful, you can get in trouble. Uh, dun, dun. <laughs> I have to say my wife, Maisa. Biggest advice that she's given me, um, don't settle for less. Fun story? Yeah, I've got happen on the set or something. Oh, um, well, when I was on the set, my character is supposed to have a kidney problem. So, <laughs> when uh, the, I first found out about that in the second season I was pretty shocked when I was reading the script I'm like oh my god I got a kidney problem so when we were shooting uh, I came out I was supposed to be coming out after dialysis and talking to one of the nurses and I guess I had a look on my face of exhaustion that Tyler Perry didn't like so he came up and smacked me on my forehead and said don't wrinkle up your forehead so much it doesn't look good on camera <laughs> I said, yeah, but I just had dialysis. He <laughs> said, it's okay, we still gotta look good. <laughs> Another great advice. Uh, yo te amo. Uh, well, I just got nominated for my first Grammy, for my first single, and um, it's incredible. Just still can't believe it. And my first album will be out soon. So they, they've been very supportive of my single, and um, they, you know, they're part of the people who helped me get that nomination. So it's been a blessing. Mm -hmm. What has been the biggest challenge that you have faced as a woman? Sadly, um, it's people not taking me seriously and wanting men, sorry guys, more interested in 
personal relationship stuff than actually, you know, supporting the music and, and, and you know, I, got, I have a dream. I have actually a gift that God gave me that I've been just, I believe it's my calling to share with the world. And so I'm, you know, looking to, to try to have, you know, assistance in doing that. And sometimes they're a little more distracted by my curves. So, which, um, which, look at them. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a blessing too, but yeah, I needed to not be a distraction, and so we can get these, uh, get these, these dreams and goals done, you know. So the secret is, women to support each other, right? Women have to support each other, y'all. It's not a competition. Like, there's enough room for all of us to be at the top, and we absolutely need to support, to support each other. Absolutely. Well, my last thing is, I want to hear your Spanish. Um, yo hablo español un poquito, pero no entiendo muy bien. Ay, gracias. <laughs> that was so sweet. Doing here. Oh, we are doing good. a selfie stick interview, so you I can like see that. how gorgeous you look. <laughs> because I try to hold my selfie stick, but I have carpal tunnel, so mine goes all over the place. But you're good at this. Who has been the biggest influence for you? My mother. I can say that without thinking twice about it. I watch her as a single mom raise us and you know provide for everything and actually give me all of the resources I needed in terms of strength and confidence and work ethic, everything that I needed to make it. So my mother, absolutely. Wow. <laughs> mom, we love you. We love you, mom. <laughs> well, my last thing, I want you to say something in Spanish. Whatever you want. Ay, Dios mío, ¿qué quieres? Dime, dime. That was perfect. Okay, good. <laughs> what the hell did you say? I thought you said, what the hell bitches say? Did you say? No, no, as you said, what, what the hell did you say? But did I heard <laughs> I don't know either what the hell one, she Either said. one would be good. What the hell what did the hell she bitches say? say? <laughs> you guys fight like on TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it is real. Oh, yeah. A little, yeah. But we love each other. Yes. Uh, we, make, we, we might fight, but we make up even better. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Uh-oh. Should I leave and leave the camera on? <laughs> oh, we'll make up later. That's next season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, we are honoring here amazing woman. So I would like to know what has been like the coolest advice that a woman has given to you. Oh. My mom always told me, listen, listen, li listen. And I've actually, I mean, since I was little, she always told me to listen as much as you can. And I've done that. And I've actually been told that I'm a good listener. Is he? He is a very good listener. Very good. I guess my mom always told me to suffer to be beautiful, uh, you know, suffer to be beautiful. But that, I think that always meant like, you know, like try your best. Yes. Do, you know, be, try your hardest and you will become a good woman. And they never did anything special for me. They gave me a stool and that was it. They said the world doesn't revolve around you, Christy. You revolve around the world. My whole family's tall. And they taught me that great lesson. Uh, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. <laughs> I got it. Donde está el baño? Gracias. <laughs> Adios. What the hell did you say? What the hell did I say? In Spanish will be, que diablos dijo ella? Oh my God. <laughs> and she ran away. <laughs> Adios. Everybody's most important woman in their life is who? Their mom, yes. So a big shout to all the moms over there, my mom, your mom, every mom is amazing. So take care of her and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You just have to click the bottom above. Follow me on Twitter, what the hell did, and find me on Facebook, what the hell did you say, interviews by Vanessa Lua. Thank you.